Through dives and through dips, by hillsides and cliffs, these two peas in a pods eventually arrived in a strange land that was blessed by winter warmth. They had escaped the grips of the cold. It was goodbye to rainy skies, so long to long johns, and good day to sunny play. Refuge was found amongst the artichoke fields and persimmon groves. And with the arrival to warmer weather, change was in the air, and it was now time for Madame Ollie to bail, for she had her own trail to trudge on down. And so it was that these two traveling companions parted ways until the day their paths might bring them back to parts. Now the story of Madame Ali is quite an exciting one, though this tale is one that follows young Charlie Wilde, and he was determined to continue south. Charlie had heard rumors of an enchanted land where the sun always shone and the hills were all sand. This place was further than he'd ever dared to go, and the folks there spoke a tongue that he'd never cared to know. Beyond skyscrapers and suburbs, past street signs and road curbs, Charlie was bound for a land of cactus trees and unpaved streets. And as sure as the sun does pass above our heads, the land did turn from green to red. Charlie crept crawled onto the desert sprawl, making friends aplenty, some short and some tall. He met folks who had sailed over oceans and lakes, and some who it seemed had ended up there by mistake. Some yellow, some white, and some wasted and some bright. Did not matter none from where they had come, all were welcomed as kin, whether chubby or thin. Now with the blessing of friends in this land of the sun, where the sand never ended and never begun, as quickly as you could say lickety snail, Charlie and his new family were headed off down the trail. <laughs>